What's good? Brian Tong here, and welcome to the Apple Buy for all the bits and bytes, good and bad, inside the world of Apple. Now, did you all know that today we are shooting this on National Hugging Day? So if there is someone near you, yes, I'm talking to you, you have to give them a hug. I'm waiting. Aww. Okay, good job. Now, as for me, I just have to uh, hug myself, but it still feels nice. Aww. All right, let's get to the show, and one of the new products we expect to see this year is the unconfirmed 12-inch iPad Pro. According to a report from KGI analyst Ming-Chi Kuo, who makes sure he gets in the Apple rumor news at least once a month? Well, he says that an Apple stylus will be available as an optional accessory to the iPad Pro and not bundled to keep the total price down. There's no word if the stylus will be compatible with other iDevices, but it better be some special magic wand if it actually ends up costing too much to bundle it. Now, we all know how Steve Jobs felt about a stylus. Who wants a stylus? You have to get them and put them away and you lose them, yuck. Nobody wants a stylus. And yes, I know he was talking about a phone in 2007, but the Galaxy Note pretty much squashed that thinking. Now, the rumored iPad Pro is still expected sometime in the second quarter of 2015. All right, iPhone sales have surged in Asia, according to CounterPoint Research, where Apple made gains in China, Japan, and South Korea for the month of December. Now, obviously, the new big screen iPhones were the reason why, but the biggest surprise happened in Samsung's own backyard in South Korea, where Apple's market share exploded to 33%, more than doubling its 15% market share prior to the launch of the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. Now, even bigger, no foreign brand has gone beyond the 20% mark in the history of Korea's smartphone industry, and Apple currently sits in the number two spot ahead of LG, but behind Samsung, whose market share dropped from 60% to 46 in the same period. Ouch. So, what else can Apple do to keep their iPhone line relevant? Well, Patently Apple recently posted a patent application from the Big A that reveals Apple is hoping to have their current home button on iDevices to double as a gaming joystick. So check this out. In the first mode, the home button would act like it always has, but in the second mode, the home button would transform into a pure gaming stick, and the transition would be simple by pressing hard enough on the home button with the help of a pressure sensor to pop it up. Who wants this? Anybody? Yeah, I do. And if you want to control your Mac or iPhone or iPad with your eyes, that could be coming in the future as well. The US Patent and Trademark Office recently granted Apple a patent for a specific eye tracking technology that can be used to control a user interface on a computer or smartphone. Now it's different from Samsung's that tracks eye movement to pause a video or scroll through web pages. This invention makes sure that users would not lose their cursor while controlling the devices with eye tracking movements. Again, all these patents aren't guarantees, but it's a peek inside the minds of the smarty pants in Cupertino. All right, to some quick bites, Apple posted a new photo of its spaceship Campus 2 that's still currently under construction, just to, you know, keep us in the loop. <laughs> you get it? One infinite loop is a... Uh their address, okay, never mind. And for all of you that wanna make your own Blythe or Barbie dolls all fitted with Apple products, check out Etsy.com and the good people from Lilu Miniature. They've created a 1-8 scale set of Apple devices that include an iMac, MacBook Pro, iPads, and iPhones for just 45 bucks. So, you know, maybe you're just a collector or someone who really loves playing with dolls. Hey, Brian. Hey, what's up, Charlie? <laughs> I think I found your uh, John Lennon doll in the middle. What are you talking about? Is this yours? Um, yeah, no, uh, this is Jobs, Steve Jobs, you can, um, you can go now, thanks. That's John Lennon. No, it's Steve Jobs. Okay, a good amount of you have been writing in asking, what happened to Apple's free single of the week on iTunes? Well, I'm sorry, but Apple has quietly decided to end that promo. I stopped downloading them after a while, because really, they did add some value to the service, but I didn't really care about all the songs, but really... We'd like to take a moment to remember the iTunes free single of the week. Now, Apple also went a little cheapy by discontinuing the 12 Days of Gifts promo as well. And yeah, for all of you that weren't happy about it, I'm giving them a bad apple for you. 
But you know who really deserves the bad apple? These people from a recent episode of The Price is Right. Palatine together goes over, but it's closest to the actual retail price without going over. And, uh, Eric Kanisha. 7500 What? $7,000 with a one-year contract. Are you kidding me? But wait, it gets better. What was it? $7,500. $7,501. No, no, come on, you dum-dums. You guys have failed humanity. And I get it, it's the heat of the moment, you're on the prices, right? But you know what I'm throwing out at you? Bad apples. Oh! All right, that's going to do it for this week's show. Keep emailing me at the at CNET.com or tweet me at Brian Tong, and I'll answer when I can. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you all next time for another bite of the apple. <laughs> there you go, little Stevie. Yep, I'm getting in all those hard to reach places. I know it's a little cold, but. Oh. Is that a little lint in your belly button? Here, let me get that out, okay? Oh, oh no, 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 did we get soap in your eyes again? Oh, no, ah, stop struggling with me, okay? And now, Stevie, we have one more thing to clean.